Hey guys, so I got the idea for this project from a photo a friend posted on my Facebook page and I thought it was really cool so I decided to make something based off of it and it is for these really cool see-through drawstring bags and they, they are made of fabric except for one section of vinyl near the bottom that is see-through so that you can see what is in the bag and you can put toys, supplies, candy, or tons of other things in them and then when you have them on your shelf or wherever you can easily tell what's in each bag so you don't have to go rummaging through when you are looking for something and so let's get on to the tutorial you will need clear vinyl fabric a ribbon or string cutting tools a ruler and a sewing machine cut a piece from your vinyl that measures nine by five and a half inches I find it easiest to cut vinyl with a rotary cutter, mat, and ruler. You will also need a 9 by 7 inch piece and 9 by 12 inch piece of fabric. Place the vinyl on the smaller piece and sew along one long side to attach with a quarter inch seam allowance. Flip and top stitch to secure. Place the newly sewn piece on the other fabric piece. Make a mark 2 inches down from the non-vinyl ends. Sew up both sides to the mark and along the bottom. You never want to pin into vinyl, so I don't even keep pens around during this project. Instead, use a clothespin or clip if you need something to hold your fabric in place. Open the unsewn seam allowance and fold back to form a V. Sew along the V. Finish off the top edges with a zigzag stitch or a serger. Then fold the top down one inch. Sew right along the edge to form a casing. Thread your ribbon or string through the casing and knot the ends. You can easily change up the measurements for this bag so that it fits your exact needs. And this is the second one that I've made and I store suckers in the one I just made. Um, because I have some issues with like blood sugar and so I keep a lot of candy around and so this is perfect to store all of them and I can put it in the pantry and know exactly where it is and so I hope you like this project don't forget to subscribe for all of my upcoming tutorials and I will see everyone later bye